the official opening isn't for a few weeks and I may feed you then if you're lucky. Some beer would be good too. Or not. This place looks great. Shame about the customers though. Oh, Annie, give it a rest. Let's go over here away from him. You okay? I can't understand why she's doing this. I've had enough. Mm, Annie's never had girlfriends before. She's only had you. And now she's hanging out with kids her own age. She's just trying to be part of the crowd, you know, prove she can fit in. Sorry, I'm just supposed to let it all happen. Oh, it's annoying, but it's pretty normal teenage girl stuff. Just don't take it personally. <sighs> How come it took you so long to work that out? Like, I mean... Annie, grow up. It's the truth, as far as I'm concerned. You know what? Belle was right. You are lucky to have a brother like Jeff, and I hate that you're horrible to him. Anyway, it's not your problem, Annie. It's me he's not interested in. Sorry. You okay? What do you care? I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bite your head off. No, it's cool. No, it's not. It makes me just as bad as the others. Belle's right. I need to grow up. But I really thought you wanted to be with me, and when I found out you didn't, it hurt. Look, I didn't mean for all this stuff to happen. It just... It just got out of control. I know you don't like me like that. It's okay. I understand. Really appreciate you coming to see if I was all right. Martha. Thank you very much. Appreciate You're it. You're a caravan park. It's what we do. So, have you spoken to Cassie and Sally? How are they? Yeah, Pippa's settled in. And the last time I spoke to Sal, she was looking into working in an orphanage. Wow, so it's just like Sal. That's pretty predictable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your bed's made up. I'll um, take your bags. Thanks. So you and Roman have split up? He's concerned Jack's become a major complication. And has he? No, we're just friends. Can you and Jack really ever just be friends. He needs my support and I don't see why I shouldn't give it to him. Maybe you should think about what you really want. Well, today I lost my boyfriend and tomorrow, who knows? Maybe I'll think about what I want then. Problems? Um, yeah, that's right. I should have it fixed pretty soon. Mate, I don't enjoy arguing with you. Can we put all the fight stuff behind us? I'll do whatever I can to make it up to you. Well, the only way to make it up to me is be honest, that's all. So can we kiss while we make up? Mm. Okay, you need to have a look at this. Honestly. Well, so far it's been used to insult an older brother, spread obscene jokes and to post some rather explicit drawings. Ooh. Let's just say a couple of the local boys don't need you to give them lessons on anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dan would have loved this place. It's a wonderful tribute to him. Yeah. Hey, Doc, uh, how's Aiden doing? Oh, he's doing well. In fact, he's probably ready to go home soon. Oh, great. Um, when can we go see him? Oh, he's, he's doing OK, but... Maybe he's not ready to tolerate your lame jokes just yet. Uh, why can't we go see him? Well, because I'm his doctor and I said no. Great. Listen, thanks for the tour. Can I give you a call a bit later? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Have a look. Finally, someone's figured out what the board's actually about. <laughs> Oh, Aiden's been making really good progress, and especially where his dad's concerned. I'm really pleased the kid's getting better, Rach, but what's it got to do with me? For reasons that you can probably understand, Aiden doesn't feel he's ready to move back into the family home, so he needs somewhere to live. Why do you think I should take him in? I know it's a big ask, but you're really good with him, so I thought maybe... Well, it's one thing to give the kid the odd piece of advice, Rach, but 
Living with him, that's a totally different thing. I know it can be difficult, but I thought you'd made a connection with him. A small connection. It's not going to be for long, okay? Sorry, I can't help. I know how daunting it can be to suddenly have the responsibility of a teenager thrust upon you, but he doesn't trust a lot of people. I'm not your guy, Rach. I'm ex-army for a start, and he has issues with that. And Plus, reading between the lines, I don't think living with another male is what he needs right now, either. Well, Morag and Martha are going to be there. Martha's be moved out. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It's just... This is not what I need in my life right now. Well, at least think about it, okay? I'm not interested in looking after a troubled teenager, okay? I'm sorry I asked. And I'm sorry about Martha. Don't worry, I'll figure something out, okay? was out. Want to rethink that, mate. The uh, little miss is very interested in what you have to say. There's a new hottie in Summer Bay. It is like 400 degrees out there. You won't believe who she is. Wow. Hello. And look who she's got her eyes on. Just going to be next door if you want to come and have a chat when you're free. But is he interested? I can multitask. Home and away tomorrow.